Most people's lead generation strategy is completely backwards. They do something that doesn't work and their only solution is to do more of that. Let me know if this sounds familiar. You send 100 emails and one person responds and your only solution is, I need to get more emails. I need to find more people to reach out to. You do 100 cold calls. You hit a bunch of gatekeepers and a bunch of people that aren't returning your calls and aren't even answering you. And your only solution is to, let me call more people. It's funny because I used to sit in my car during my work break and I had about a 30 to 40 minute lunch break and I would eat my lunch in 10 or 15 minutes and then I would sit there. I'd go out to my car and I would cold call businesses. I would literally just Google them on my phone and I would call them and hope that they answered and I didn't even have a script. I just tried to reach out to them. I would also do this before work and then after work. And even though I thought I was working so hard on building my business, I was not working smart or efficiently. And on top of that, I was overpaying for these lead generation softwares because I didn't understand how to get a lifetime access to them for one price. So I was just paying monthly every single month trying to generate these leads. I would try to send out these email campaigns in bulk and I would try to get clients on the phone and my response rate was always so low. And it got to a point where I was thinking, is the market saturated? Are people just not even interested in what I'm offering? I was selling websites, I was selling SEO, and I knew that these people I could help. I'm looking at their reviews. They have four reviews and a three-star rating on Google. Their website looks absolutely terrible. It doesn't even work on their phones. Their team is absolutely tiny, so I know they're not growing at the rate that they wanna grow, and yet they're still paying for these expensive like magazine and phone book ads, even though that's not the most efficient way to advertise. And that's when you sit there and maybe a little bit of doubt starts to creep in. Maybe this business isn't right for me. Maybe I should switch niches because no one in this niche is a good fit. All the hundreds and thousands of people in this niche no one wants to buy my service. I didn't know how to pre-qualify leads. In fact, I didn't even know what kind of leads would be good leads to even pitch my services to and how I should alter my script based on the lead list that I have. I didn't understand how to get quality and quantity of leads with good information that allow me to get in touch with these business owners. I didn't know how to separate mobile phones and then landlines. So when I was cold calling, I was cold calling the office of the business owner. Of course, I'm gonna get a receptionist or a front desk person. I didn't know about how to get mobile phones because at the end of the day, who's gonna leave their mobile phone, right? Their cell phone online. Well, chances are most of the time that's gonna be the business owner. I didn't know how to reach them directly. And I also didn't know how to do voicemail drops, meaning I would make 50 cold calls, 100 cold calls. I would leave custom voicemails for each and every single person and then hope that they returned my call. I didn't understand that I could filter that and get only cell phones, film a voicemail one time and then blast it to instead of 50 people, but 500 people and then wait for them to call me. And everything starts with the lead generation process. So let's actually dive into my computer and I'll show you how to find these quality leads. So this is how I used to do it. I would just go into Google and I would just type in my niche and my area. So let's just say roofing Las Vegas. That's what we'll do for this video as an example. I would then scroll down and I would look at the Google My Business map pack and I would cold call all of these people. And it definitely can work if you open it up in a new tab you'll see you get a bunch of these businesses. However, the problem with this is that you lose track with who you've already spoken with and who you've already contacted. So at the very least, if you're gonna use this strategy, put these businesses into a spreadsheet so you can go down and actually take notes about what happened after you spoke with them or you didn't speak with them. Now, luckily for you, there are tools out there that allow you to automate this scraping. I found one here that I like to use and we actually use it inside of our community as well. As you can see, there is a free version of this tool and then there's also uh, some different paid ones right here. I think the free one is good enough for you to get started and actually start scraping. That tool is called Google Maps Lead Extractor right here. Again, I'm gonna link up this spreadsheet here. This is a list of all my tools down below so you can check that out. And here's what it looks like when you generate a list. It gives you the name, the address, the street, and then also gives you the category, but more importantly, it gives you the phone right here in a nice spreadsheet format. And also it gives you the review count, it gives you the average rating. And again, this is 
very important. This is crucial if you're doing anything with reputation management or you're doing websites, right? You want to know their website. And if it's not linked on here, then you know they don't have a website. And that's also very important. And you can see that right here. Another thing you can watch out for is these business.site websites. This is like this pre-built website from Google, meaning they know they need a website, but they don't have one yet. So Google just built one directly for them. So you can reach out to them and offer them a higher quality website. Another really cool fact that you want is this right here, this claimed section, right? So I actually noticed on this report that this business right here had a Google My Business that's not claimed. It's called DNL Roofing. So let's actually take a look and see if that is true. All right, so let's go back into our Google search and you can see here DNL Roofing. So they have a ton of reviews. And when I actually click into them, it shows me right here that I have an option to claim the business. This is insane. This is a reputable company. They have a ton of reviews. However, they didn't even claim their Google page. So you can easily reach out to them and help them claim this for a fee, or you can do it for free and then upsell them on additional services. You can kind of see the difference, right? When someone claimed it, it's not going to give you that message because it already has an owner. Also, what you can do is extract the reviews directly from the Google My Business listing. So to give you an example of how that looks, this is a bunch of reviews that we extracted. And as you can see, we have the review and then we have the author. So now when you reach out to the business, you can actually send them this sheet and say, look, I saw you have a ton of reviews. I attached a few of them below. Boom. Now it's very custom. They can open that. The fact that they don't have their business claimed shows that they're obviously not monitoring this very well. So they're going to be impressed that you have all the details. Also, this is going to work even better if they have bad reviews. So if you extract a review list and they have all terrible reviews, you can even send them a spreadsheet like this with name and what the review says and say, look at all these bad reviews that I found. We might be able to help you with reputation management. Is that something you might be interested in? The way to actually get this tool is you can go over to this link, you can hit get started and it's just a simple Chrome extension. And so what you can do is click it, you just hit open Google Maps, you type in the niche in the city, and then you just hit start extracting. And it'll give you that spreadsheet that I just showed you. Now, you're also probably wondering, well, I don't know which one of those are cell phones. Who can I actually cold call? Who can I actually speak to? Well, that is the point of this tool right here. It's called clearoutphone.io. Again, it's in that spreadsheet. And as you can see, you're going to get 100 free credits. So if you mix this with this Google Maps tool, you'll be able to get a bunch of businesses and then see who has a mobile line versus a landline. When you call someone's cell phone, they're way more likely to pick up. Plus, you can record a voicemail and blast it to a bunch of mobile phones and then just wait for people to call you back that have listened to the voicemail and are slightly interested in what you have to say. Now, look, if you want to get real clever here, what you can do is when you have the entire sheet generated, you can actually categorize this by who has bad reviews and how many reviews they have. For example, this company has 29 reviews and a 3.6 star rating. So imagine if you took everyone that's less than four stars, right? All of these businesses right here. Now, again, this is just in one niche and one city. And you found out who has a phone number or even you could do landlines also and just recorded a voicemail and you told them, hey, I saw you have less than a four star rating. I also sent you an email with a screenshot of a bunch of your reviews. I might be able to help you with this. I see you're a reputable company. I like your photos. Give me a call back if you'd like to chat. And this type of outreach and this type of campaign is going to be very targeted to them and you're still able to do it in bulk. And you can do the same thing with a website as well, because all these people have websites. And if you scroll down, you'll see that all of these businesses do not have a website. So you can reach out to them, make it slightly custom, talk about their reviews, right? Include their phone number in your outreach message, and they're way more likely to respond and craft some kind of customized outreach message specifically to people without websites. Even if you're providing lead generation services, this is very relevant for you because this is a another lead scraper that I like to use, and you actually get their Facebook, their Instagram, their Twitter, and you can include that in different outreach messages. And you can even see if they have a Facebook pixel, a Google pixel installed, or even Google analytics on their website. And you can use that 
in your outreach. And you can mention different things like, hey, I see you have a Google Pixel. And if they have this installed, they might be running Google ads, but they're not running Facebook ads, right? Or vice versa. If you're doing Google ads and you want to offer, and then I would even categorize these and see who exactly here has a Google Pixel, but does not have a Facebook Pixel. These are great people to reach out because they already know they need to spend money on leads, on advertising. They already believe in the internet. And you can even look at their websites, look at their reviews, right? They're already comfortable being online and having a presence. Now, all you have to do is just sell them on Facebook being the new opportunity. And even if they are running Facebook ads, they don't have a pixel set up. So they're missing out on so much traffic by not retargeting their visitors that they're getting. And once again, if you have their mobile number, you can send them a voicemail drop, you can cold call them or even do an SMS campaign. And as you can see, I'm going to keep scrolling, right? Look at the whys in here, right? Every there's so many people on here that have a Google Pixel, but do not have a Facebook one set up. So you have so many leads that you can go through and start prospecting. That tool right there that we just covered is called D7 Elite Finder. Now, D7 is not amazing because sometimes they give you a lot of low quality leads. So what I actually recommend you do is you have a virtual assistant or you hire someone on Fiverr to go through and actually clean it up a little bit for you. It's definitely worth it. It does not cost much money. You can get one of these people do it for 10 bucks, 20 bucks. They'll go through and just double check and make sure that every business is within your niche. Because sometimes when you go in and you type in like roof for Las Vegas or roofing in the whole state of Florida, you'll get all sorts of random categories in there. So hire someone to actually help you with those leads. It's well worth it and it'll save you a lot of time. Another one that works really well is called Apollo. And I have a link to that right here. This one is good. It's a little bit more expensive. It's not my favorite, honestly, but a lot of people speak very highly of it. Also Lead Gorilla. This one was just discovered inside my uh, group, inside my private community. Uh, someone found it and they were able to get really good results with that. Personally, I have not used it, but I wanted to include it and other people seem to like it as well. Also, real quick, if you want our client getting scripts, our client getting strategies, our outreach, DMs, literally everything A to Z, then you can go ahead and check out the free course in the description. If you want all of our snapshots imported into your account, I'm providing all of that. It's completely free. If you don't have a high level account, then you can sign up for a free 30 day trial down below and I will give you access to everything, sales call recordings, additional services that you can actually offer, how to sell those services and how to charge high tickets it. Everything is in there. So let's dive back into the video. Now, the next thing that you want to take into consideration is the lead quality. Okay. Not everyone believes in like online advertising. Not everyone wants to spend money on leads or on some kind of online campaign. So some of the best leads that I've ever gotten were already running advertising campaigns, meaning they came here from the sponsored posts. Okay. Right here, we have a website that's already spending money, spending money, spending money, and also going into the Google, my business, and actually taking a look at who is spending money to appear in the Google maps section. The big thing when you're thinking about ads and who already spends money on marketing or advertising is don't limit yourself to internet marketing. Okay. Think about who spends money on newspapers, who spends money on magazines, on TV commercials, on radio commercials, on billboards, right? You're driving down the road and you see a billboard. These are people that have big budgets. Sometimes they're just not convinced that they should be spending their money online and on the internet because they haven't done it profitably yet. In fact, one of my best clients, when I signed him on, he told me he was spending over $25,000 per month. And the majority of that was going to TV commercials and magazine ads, right? Think about that for a second. He wasn't running any Google ads, any Facebook ads, his website was messed up. So even people that found him on the magazine or that saw his TV commercial went to his website, he had bad reviews and he was spending so much money on all these different avenues because he was so traditional. He was an older guy and all he needed was a little bit of help with doing this stuff online. And then when we compared apples to apples and I said, look, you spend $20,000 per month on this avenue, you spend $2,000 or $3,000 with me, but we got 47 calls. We got 47 leads for you. How many did you get from the magazine? And then he was able to unveil different pain points about, oh, I didn't get that many or I'm not tracking. And then when we did track it, he saw that he got way less calls from those different avenues. And so then he put more money 
with our campaigns. He went from spending $40 a day to spending over $200 per day on our online campaigns. And again, the only reason I was able to sign a client like this is because my lead scraping and my lead sourcing process is like this, where I'm actually vetting people and reaching out to people that I want to be speaking with. Now we're gonna go over a website that I wish someone showed me a long time ago. It's called AppSumo. You can get amazing discounts on different softwares on this app. So I'm gonna type in the lead generation here just to see what's out right now. And what we'll do is take a look at some of the softwares. Now, the cool thing about AppSumo is as you can see, it gives you lifetime deals, meaning whatever software this is, you pay $59 one time and you get to use it your entire life. And you can find some amazing softwares that come on here before they get released to the public. So this is one that I've also used, it's called Outscraper. So I initially tested the one that I showed you earlier, but then when I was ready to get a ton of results and move into a paid plan, I use this one right here and I purchased $99 I paid one time and now I can use it forever. I can scrape unlimited Google searches and get leads from Google. And as you can see, there's another one right here. It's called Lead Scrape. Now Lead Scrape, this one really doesn't seem like it's a good fit. It has a lot of ratings. However, it says B2B leads. I'm working with people in this example that are roofing. So I need leads that are working from roofing to homeowners. But as you can see, there's tons of softwares in here that are very interesting. And when you actually click into the software, you can learn all about how it works. The big thing that you wanna take into account is the reviews that the software has. When it comes to local business, this one works really well because we can actually see everything, right? So it scrapes it to an Excel file. And when you read into it, it seems perfect. And the amazing thing is that it gives you a 60 day money back guarantee. So you can try it. And if you don't like it, this website guarantees that they'll give you your money back. Now, something to take into account is how many searches you get, right? So we get 5,000 searches here per month and it exports it in a nice CSV file. So if you combine a tool like this, you pay $100 one time and then you use the phone number mobile landline checker, you can be in an amazing position on a budget. And when you look at the reviews, a lot of them are speaking highly of it. So this offer is well worth it. And this is what I use to scrape Google My Business. If you want a direct link, to that software right there that I have. It's gonna be this one right here. So if you go inside of our spreadsheet, you'll see the exact outscraper that I purchased. Then what you could do is go over to this tool right here. It's called Phantom Buster. And for example, as you saw in some of our lead lists, we have their Instagram profile. So now what you can do is run this tool and now you can automatically comment on their posts. You can follow them. You can automatically like their posts without you having to manually do it. And then also this one's really interesting right here. Then those businesses, if they have a story, you can automatically watch that story and then also even heart their story on their Instagram. So you are tackling them on every single platform. You go to one of our tools here and you even get a LinkedIn tool. So now you have all of their information during your lead scraping process. You use all these different tools together. You leave them a voicemail. You follow them on Instagram. You message them on LinkedIn, right? You text them. Maybe you even fill out their contact form on their website. You have so many different touch points. Then you're doing email campaigns and you have that custom message as well, right? And my recommendation is that you also outsource some of the lead scraping process as soon as you can, meaning you can get a virtual assistant to go in and take a look at your lead list and craft some kind of custom message to them. Just say, hey, I saw your business was unverified. However, you have 102 reviews, but it's a 3.2 rating. And now what you can do when you do these campaigns is you can take that line that your virtual assistant wrote and input that at the beginning of each of your outreach messages. Or she can do something even more basic, like just take the very first person that left them a review, meaning the latest person, they probably know who this is. Let's say Susie left them a five-star review and you can even lead with that. You can say, hey, ABC Roofing, I just saw that Susie left you a five-star review. That's amazing. How would you like to get more customers like that? Look, I noticed you have a 3.7 rating or a 4.5 rating. How would you like to get even more customers like this? I noticed you don't have a pixel, a Facebook pixel on your website. And you can lead that into multiple different angles and directions, whether you're doing ads, 
websites, reputation management. Maybe you want lead follow-up services and people that already run ads. There's so many different angles that you can tackle. You can now see the difference between a professional and how we do lead generation versus an amateur who just takes a lead list and then tries to send some campaign and then hopes and prays that someone responds. If you want to see me close clients and you even want to see how I close the client for a live subscriber and community member, then you can check that video out right here.